Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. It's been a while. <laughs> so I had my surgery about four weeks ago. It's It's been a rough, rough couple of months. Rough, rough four months roughly. So I had the surgery. It's, it's a slow recovery, but I'm to the point now where I'm feeling well enough to come out and try and do a rock cutting video. It'll probably still be another month or so before I'll be well enough to get out rock hounding. So I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait until I feel well enough to do that. But for now, we'll try some rock cutting. So I've got a few rocks lined up here. Just a few odds and ends. A bunch of these are just little rocks I've picked up just laying around in the gravel that I thought might be interesting. And then a few other things like a geode and some things. So let's get cutting into them and see if we've got anything good. Start off with this. It's a little pebble I found in the gravel down there. It looked kind of like a jasper and... Okay, it is a jasper. That's not a good one. It's not very good quality, but it is. This one kind of looked like a low-grade agate sitting over there. Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. It's definitely chalcedony, but I guess you could call it a little bit of agate. Not too bad. Sorry about the lighting, the sun's being blocked by some clouds. Here's a little bit of that bird's eye marble that I had left over. Not one of the shells, but we'll see. Okay, not too bad for one of these smaller ones like this. You can tell it rolled around something in the middle, but not sure what. Here's another pebble I picked up off the ground. It looked kind of like a root beer colored chalcedony or agate. And yeah, that's about what it is. I mean, not too bad. <laughs> not bad for just a stream pebble. <laughs> another stream pebble I saw that looked like kind of a band banded jasper agate, whatever. Yep, that's about what it is. Not too bad. This is a tiny little bit of that bertrandite that I still had sitting over there that needed to be cut. Whoa, it's very dark and not really purple on the inside. It's got this empty pocket in it. There's some crystals growing in there. Almost a bluish crystal, what? I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I don't know how the lighting is there, but from what I can see, there's these like little blue crystals in there. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research and uh, see if I can figure that out. Probably some uh, fluorapatite or something. Okay, this is a little stream pebble that I looked at and it's like, that looks like an agate. Yeah, pretty much. Not the greatest, but it still looks cool. Still nice. Here's another stream pebble that looked interesting. It looked like it had some uh, black like chert or maybe even agate going through it. Oh, hey. Yeah, you can see some, uh, yeah, a little bit of agate in there. Not bad. Here's another stream pebble. Looks kind of like a jasper. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's it's a jasper. Not too bad. Not too bad. Here's a little piece of Wonderstone I saw sitting over there and yep, good old Vernon Wonderstone. Even the tiny pieces don't disappoint. Here's some of the uh, Levan black agate I hadn't cut open yet. And it is hard to see, isn't it? But this side actually has some good agate through there. I'll have to grind away on the back there and shine some light through. It's it's actually a pretty nice piece right there. Don't quite get as much on this side. Another stream pebble that looks like some of that reddish jasper you get over by the, the swell. Yeah, I think so. Very interesting one. That is pretty cool inside. There's a lot going on in there. Here's another little piece of bertrandite. Ah, there's that classic dark purple. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And last but not least, good old Dugway Geode. You can already see it's going to be good. They, they never disappoint. Yep, see? Never disappoints. <laughs> Dugway Geodes. Very nice. And there you have it. A few good ones and, of course, a few duds in. <laughs> kind of what is expected, but not too bad. And, of course, the Bertrand diet always looks kind of nice. And I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I'm not sure when I'll do another one. Maybe next week I'll do another cutting video. We'll, we'll just have to take them a week at a time. But eventually I will get back out rock hunting, probably a month or so down the road. And I can't wait to get back into that. 
and then I'm gonna go all in as much as I can. Anyway, until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.